Well, happy St. Patrick's Day. If you haven't heard us say it yet, now is your chance. And if you're looking for a way to spend the Greenfield holiday, then look no further than the All Nation St. Patrick's Day Parade. That's right, Keith. The luck of the Irish is upon us. And while you might not be able to find that pot of gold today, you might see a leprechaun or two at the All Nation St. Patrick Day that's happening on Saturday. And I'm live with Josh, Josh Ar Irvine, who is going to be leading the parade in his convertible, which is green, to stay on theme for St. Patrick's Day. So, Josh, tell me, are you excited for the parade? I'm very excited. It's uh, looking like it should be decent weather, and uh, hopefully there's a good turnout for it. And I know we were talking a little bit about before, when was the last time that uh, she was in a St. Patrick's Day parade? So my grandfather had her before uh, the family took it back over, and we're pretty sure it was about 2000. And what is the name of her? I mean, we do, I know all guys have cars for their names, so go ahead and tell me what's her name. Uh, her name is Emerald K.I. Uh, well, it's very fitting because she's this emerald green. And kind of tell me about her. Uh, how long have you had her? Uh, so I've only had her for about a, uh, two years now. Uh, she's a 1970s all-original Cadillac, the and, bill. And how did you choose the emerald green for the color? I mean, it's perfect for St. Patrick Day, but that couldn't have been your first choice. Uh, no, this was actually from factory, this color. This is original paint still. And so what are some of the things that you are going to be looking for for your decorations? I know it's not really decorated now, but what are some things that uh, people can expect from your uh, com your convertible? Um, a lot of uh, Irish pride and uh, also American pride uh, and lots of green and gold. And so what made you want to participate in, I mean, it's, your car is perfect to kick off the parade, but what made you, want to, what made you decide to participate? Uh, I participated, uh, I wanted to participate in the parade because, uh, well, she's... She's meant to be shown out to the world, and parades is a great way to show her, show her off. And Grandpa had her out, and so we're just trying to live up to that legacy. Also, it's like a family tradition. That's kind of exciting to keep on with that family tradition. It is a family tradition, yes. And so how often, I mean, it is cold out here, guys. We see us, we have our hats and our gloves on. So I know it's kind of, uh, it's been a little cold, so is it exciting to kind of bring her out? Oh, yes. It's very exciting to, uh, to get her started for the season. We try to do something with her about every weekend, all the car shows and all the events that we can go to. And so how did you first hear about the parade? Um, I had a friend message me and ask if uh, I was willing to be in it because they already knew about the, the Cadillac and her awesome color. And I said, yeah, I'll, we'll bring her out. And you were telling me that people will get to see a special guest in uh, the car this weekend. Yes, there's a, the, we have a very special guest. Nuggets should be riding with us to start off the parade. Well, you know what? I think we're going to take this bad boy out for a spin, but don't go anywhere. More news after the break. Well, don't get too wild, Kyle. Don't go anywhere. We'll get one final look at your first alert forecast with Eric.